Glenda, what we know is that the family's having a really difficult time with this. They say that their son, he went by the stage name of Lucky. He was an aspiring artist, had a passion for life. They're just having a hard time with some of the details they're starting to hear. Annie Finette is struggling to find out the truth about her son's death. I want answers. I want answers. How come I can't get answers last night? Why can't they give them to me? I want answers. That's all I know. Because I want to know not something. I don't know nothing. 27-year-old Richard Coquinos went into cardiac arrest shortly before 12.30 Saturday morning after being tased by police. And they said, stay on the ground, Richard. Don't get up. Stay on the ground. And um, that went on for, you know, maybe five minutes or so. And they were telling him if he didn't stay down, they were going to have to tase him. Coquinos died around the corner from his Warren home in front of this woman's house. She didn't want to be identified, but told us about what she heard between Warren police officers and Coquinos in the minutes before he died. Probably like 12 police officers, and they were trying to, they were taking him to the car. And then I saw them just like scatter. Um, they were telling a superior that they had put him in the car and then he jumped out. Um, the little boy next door said they tased him two more times after that. You know, and then that's when he died. Um, but there was an ambulance here, and they had sent him away before they took him to the car. The boy said that's because they decided to take him to jail instead of the hospital. She says Coquinos was tased at least two to three times after the neighbors called police for a man trying to break into their home. The neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but says she was home with her daughter an 11 year old grandson when a man slammed his body against the house just before midnight and pounded on the windows, screaming to get in. She said the man was pouring sweat as he kept trying to force himself in the home and didn't quit until police showed up. Now, Coquinos' family tells me that that doesn't sound like him at all. That would be completely out of character for him, even though police also told them that he might have been trying to break into homes. We did call the police chief of Warren, and he says they're not releasing any details tonight, possibly tomorrow morning. For now, we're live in Macomb County. Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News.